Hello and welcome to Matchmaster, for the best. Today I'm going to take you through the features and setup of our Johansson masthead amplifiers. We will start with the 10mm J34BF 4G. It has a frequency range for VHF input of 170 to 230 MHz and for UHF input of 520 to 694 MHz. This is a VHF UHF amplifier with a maximum gain of 28 dB for VHF and 34 dB for UHF. It can be used as a combination input amplifier by setting the selector switch to position 1, or used purely as a VHF or UHF amp, or both simultaneously by setting the selector switch to position 2. It has a separate gain adjustment of 19 dB for UHF and 13 dB for VHF to adjust to desired output level. VHF can be sloped output 13 to 28 dB or flat output 13 dB to 28 dB. It has a built-in low-pass 4G filter at 694 MHz. It comes with a heavy-duty UV stabilized casing with cable tie for fitting outdoors. On the back of the amplifier case, there is a slot through the side. Take your cable tie and insert it through the slot. And take the amp across and fit it to the mast itself. Take the cable tie in and feed it through and pull it tight till it is secure on the pole. Then use your side cutters to cut the tails off. It features a new heavy duty gate and sliding cover to give easy access to servicing the cable connection points. It also has additional room to easily fit modern compression connectors. It is powered by a 14 volt DC power only. It is not compatible with the AC power supplies. It has a non-corrosive circuit board with high quality components. It has a singular input for either UHF or combination antennas, one input for the VHF antennas, and one output for the TV system. The gain control ports has an independent VHF and UHF gain controls to adjust the level to suit your system. With the F connectors, do not over tighten, just at finger tight, and do not use any hand tools as you may damage the circuit board of the amplifier. Once you finish connecting your input and output cables, you can close your cable management gate and slide the faceplate down the amplifier. Now it is weather protected and ready to go. Once you have your TV lead securely connected to your power supply, then connect it to your wall plate. If it is an F-type wall plate, the power supply will connect directly to it without any adapters. If you have an older style power fitting wall plate, the Power F adapter comes with a power supply. Screw it onto the power supply finger tight. Connect the power supply to the wall plate. Once power supply is connected securely to the wall plate, take the power pack and connect it to the outlet. Switch on the power supply and the system will be ready. The LED power indicator on the amplifier will turn on to show you when the power is on. And lastly, take the other end of the TV lead to the antenna input port of your television. You are now ready to tune your TV and enjoy your services. For further information, please call us on 1800 Aerial or visit us at matchmaster.com.au. Thanks for watching.